Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. Right now, is, as you can possibly see over there, it is starting to rain all over my base again. Right here, right where I am right now, you can see in the top right there is a desert biome, so it is not. So while I'm explaining things, I'll be over here. But I think today, one of the main things I'm going to focus on is a quest over here called Condensation. And with this one, we'll be able to get some of the metals that we need in the game, especially iron. So that's probably going to be my main focus today. I'm going to work focus on getting this kind of stuff done. I thought about focusing on some of the more side questy little bits, but I think I'll probably just like press forward and do what I need to to like really actually progress the pack. So for condensation, you can, here you can see condensation. In order to make ingots, you are going to need a setup for condensation. You can see how to make the most basic of setups in the Sky Resources Guide on the Metal Creation page. Keep in mind that the bottom block can be any inventory, such as a chest. Okay, now that should be about everything we need to get this entire setup working. I'm changing the setup in one small little way. I'll explain that when I get there, though. But for now, I'll just start building everything I need for the setup. So, with that setup, as the instructions tell it, we need two of these things called fluid droppers. I'll grab those. We need the thing called for... Let me change that. Put back there. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. We need two of these stone gears. And if I remember correctly, that is this setup. There you go. That's a slight change from what it should be, but it's what I want, personally. Using those two gears, what we do, we put them together to get some stone casing. There we go. Next, let us get around a bit of Primus alchemical dust by just normal stone to get a smooth uh, stone alchemical component. Let's also get two gunpowder and surround that by stone to get two stone heat components. Finally, using the alchemical component, put stone on the sides and we get a stone condenser. And this is the unique thing, put the two heat components in the middle there, near the top, and get a stone heat provider. Alright, and that should about do that. Let's use this wood as construction material along the way. And let's get some slabs. Alright, so with all that set up and ready to go. Yeah, there we go, condition done. Let's get an area for us to work in. Next part of the setup, for the usual kind of thing here, we'll put the stone casing on the bottom there. We use a little wood here as intermediary. I'm going to surround it with glass. There we go. Using a little bit more wood so I can actually get up here. Let us break that. Alright, there we go. And then, let's use another stone casing right here. Let's use a fluid dropper here and here. And then, I've got one thing. Let us grab the crucible. The crucible is also necessary in this setup. There we have the crucible. Let's go over here. The crucible right there. Um, last two things. Now we have enough, actually. All right, good. Last two thing little things we need we need a lever as well, just to make the thing a little bit more optimized. So finally, we'll take the stone condenser, right click it onto the bottom, and we'll take the stone heat provider, right click it under the crucible up there. There, for that one specifically, if you wanted to use just a normal tor torch down here, you could, but it's a little bit slower. And so I find it's, personally so far what I've seen is I prefer using this one. We'll see if I feel that same way in a little bit. But for now, shift right click to put the torch on, and we'll turn that to on. This one's a little bit backwards, though. It's actually turning that thing off. So this is the setup for our uh, condenser. So basically what we're going to do with this is a couple of things. Let me make sure I can actually get up to the top here. Alright. Alright, there we go. So, let's show you how this thing actually works. Um, over here, you can see iron. Now that you have a condenser set up with crystal fluid and iron alchemical dust, you can make an iron ingot. This is how we're going to get, like, metals. You're going to want a couple of crystal shards for this part, because you're going to be going through a lot of these. 
There's a way later on that you can make some different combinations of things to get you even more crystal shards. But for now, just using straight up glass is the best method. So, what you do to get the iron alchemical dust is you put the rotten flesh there and twice as much blaze powder. And then they combine together using alchemy over here. And they create, after a little bit, this iron alchemical ore dust. And that's what we want. I'm just going to use an entire block of that. I don't know what that thing does, apparently. That's not necessarily great for me. Okay, and as you see over here, now we have the iron alchemical ore dust. What you want to do with that is come over here, quest updated, and you want to put that in the bottom of the condenser down here. Also, what you're going to want to do is, with this setup, you're going to want to put some charcoal up here in the heat divider. Again, with a torch, you wouldn't need to do that. However, it'd also be a lot slower. So, with the iron alchemical ore dust in the bottom, and with this thing turned on, you're going to want to throw the crystal shards in the crucible up top. It can take four to time, technically. And you'll see over here that it's starting to melt. It's going to go down into this area, empty area right here. The condenser is going to start condensing things. And it's going to be creating the metal shards. Last thing you're going to want to do as well is go under the condenser and put some chests. You want to put a chest right under the condenser. Ah, and here you can see down here, I have some iron ingot in the chest. Right under the condenser, or the iron condenser pushes the things it finishes to the block right below it. So if you put a chest down there, it'll put the stuff into the, directly into the chest. And here you go. This is how you get metal in this game, in this mod pack, at least at this point. This is the easiest way to pull. This is the only way to do it so far. Later on, as I progress things more and more, I'll be able to get different ways, but for now, this is the easiest and the best. Next up, you can see right here, I now have eight iron ingots. Ta-da, and that is that part of that pack done. Congratulations, that is another great step into what we wanted to do. However, I'm going to have to be doing a lot more of that to actually get where I want to. Well, despite the short length of that video, I think I'm actually going to call that there. That is a pretty decent step forward in what we needed to do with this mod pack. The next step is I'll probably want to actually start grinding through getting a lot more iron. It's basically doing that same step over and over a little bit. I think I want to make my tree farm a little bit bigger as well. Possibly get a little bit more dirt so I can have this like grass stay around. Um, but yeah, at this point there's just a little bit of grinding that I need to progress. So I think that's going to call that the, here for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Um, if you have any questions as to how to get everything to work, just ask, let me know, and I can try to clarify things. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Uh, have a great day, and goodbye.